I could just throw myself off right now. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do that. Besides, the soft sand down there probably wouldn't kill me instantly. I'd have nothing to do but bitch about my broken legs and shattered ribs before I finally die of internal hemorrhage. And knowing me, I would bitch about it super hard till I died. Hey, is someone over there? Oh, uh, oh, okay, uh, hey, uh, Be I'm- there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! What? Don't step on the sand, it makes the antlions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! Uh, what the hell? Ow. Whoa, shit! Get him, Siggy! Dear God! Poor Laszlo! Poor shithead! The finest mind of his generation! To come to such an end! Yeah, finest dumbass. We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp! Hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. You're gonna blow your brains out, aren't you? Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had. You seem to be doing just fine without him, but if you want to blow your brains out over spilled blood, be my guest. Remember to stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Oh, believe me, I've had my fill of edginess. It is nothing but rounded corners for me from here on out. But come on, Laszlo, you were better on Integrity 2.0. Well, he was lying in a pretty big pool of blood when I showed up, so maybe he was just looking to end it all. In one of the most horrific ways possible. Execution by firing squad. <laughs> yeah, that's the death for me. I want to go out John Marston style. Thank you, Chad, for leaking that one for me. But no, I can't think about killing myself. This is the closest thing I've had to an adventure since, well, Black Mesa. Stupid bullshit is all part of the adventure package. Oh, I'm gonna need some help with this one. There we go. I really shouldn't complain so much. It hasn't been that bad so far. I mean, I got the chance to kill a lot of people. So at least my bloodlust is sated, even if my regular lust isn't. You know, for lack of any formal military training, I seem to be racking up quite the body count. I'm certainly equipped for the role, my spine can attest to that one. Ta-da! Just look at all this shit on my back! You know, just the RPG makes this cumbersome enough, but the gravity gun, crowbar, and Mosin Nagan is what makes this really ridiculous. Wow, I am actually an entire fire team rolled into one. I'm the squad leader, the rifleman, the AT, and the designated marksman. Oh, well, I guess I'm missing a light machine gun for a support role, but fuck me if I'm sticking an M249 on my back. Frankly, I'm just thankful that all these guns I'm picking up are easy to understand and use. If the only rocket launcher available to me was a javelin, then I'd be fucked. I don't know how to use one of those. I won't complain about the weapon selection, though. It was better than I was expecting. It was kind of a pleasant surprise to find a SIG in a former communist block shithole. Ooh, better take this carefully. Uh, uh, nice and easy. Did Ole! Alright, next up is... It oh, are you fucking kidding me? Who keeps making these seesaw puzzles? I have to know! Uh, get over here! Uh, fuck! Ah, okay, fine. Yes, I need to put heavy objects on the one side of the seesaw to get the other side to stay up. This is physics in action. I get it! It feels like there's somebody two steps ahead of me who's constantly putting these bullshit obstacles in my path just to remind me how physics work. It was kind of a novelty at first, but it's gotten old now. I already got cops on my ass with orders to shoot to kill and head spiders trying to bite my dick off. What more do I need? Ugh, garbage beach, no thanks. Man, I really need to chill out. I'm getting all worked up here. Maybe I'm just grumpy because I'm hungry. Well, I haven't eaten anything in, uh, in roughly 20 years. Uh, I could really go for a lasagna right now. Or, as it's pronounced in Canada, lasagna. Huh. Oh, okay, I see what they're going for here. I need something to bridge this gap, if you will. 
like this conveniently placed plank. Well, the uh, landscape designer of this area knew exactly what they were doing. Man, this wood looks a little rotten. I sure hope it can support the weight of me and my toys. Whoops. There. A small symbol of stability and harmony in this dystopian world of despair and hopelessness. I feel happier already. I gotta say though, this game of the floors made of lava is going a lot easier than I thought it would. Though I am sort of the uncontested champion of the game since pushing Gordon off the roof of our house when I was 13. Hey, something's not right here. I'm gonna need the plank again, aren't I? Yeah, I better go get it. Sure, Dad had to get the ladder and pull me off the roof after I was up there for 13 hours, but he didn't know how far I was willing to go to win. Plus, I still needed to get back at Gordon for sending me to the emergency room with a bruised ball sack after he took that cheap shot on me with a sock and bopper. I'd say that a broken arm almost makes up for my still severely reduced sperm count. But you'll never punch me in the balls, will you, trusty wooden plank? Of course you won't. Because my wood never hurts me. As long as I attend to it. Uh, oh, hey, that reminds me. I guess I technically beat that no masturbating for a month challenge. I haven't jerked it in over 20 years. Yes. I got to go get myself a trophy or, or I got to reward myself somehow. Oh, wow. Now that aliens inhabit this world, there's new things to fuck. Oh, man, what an age we live in. Ah, uh, well, there's no Sanghealies, but... Well, I guess I could go for some of those Vortigaunts. Hell, maybe even some of those Antlions if I could keep them from castrating me. Ah, oh, this world will become my smorgasbord of xenophiliac fornication. And there's nothing weird about that. Since the time of our ancestors, mankind has yearned to ascend to the stars and fuck senseless whatever we find up there. We're like the noble jackrabbit! Or... Or some other horny animal. Uh, you know what, mankind works just fine. Whew. This gauntlet's really putting me through the ringer to defend my Lava King title. At least I did better than Laszlo. And as much as I love you, Woody, you're proving to be a little cumbersome to carry. And so begins my final test, crossing the desert. And I don't even have a bronze snake to help me. Well, I do have a flesh one, but I think I've thought about my penis enough. For now, at least. I'll think about it again soon. Now I know how Moses felt, if he were real. I would have thought building a bridge would be best left to engineers, but I guess any idiot can do this shit. Bunch of clowns think they're so great because I put together some oversized Legos. Now, architects, on the other hand, those guys I can respect. They take the boring plans and constraints that an engineer spews and turns it into art. Ugh, that was an ordeal, but I made it. Ah, <sighs> man. For a guy who's been dubbed the one free man, I seem to be constrained a lot by arbitrary obstacles, with the stretch of don't touch the sand being a top contender for dumbest trials of the new world. Yeah, it's right up there with the incredibly stock Boo Haunted Town. Ah oh, well, it still beats the part where I had to swim in literal shit water. Oh great, more sand? Christ, how long does this beach go on for? I gotta say, I was kinda hoping I would hit the developed part of the beach by now. The part filled with boardwalks and faggot hipster organic juice bars. Hmm... Alright, I'm pretty confident that I can use that wheelbarrow over there as a unicycle to get across. I just gotta set it up just right. Fuck! No! Shit! Uh... Huh. No antlions. Oh, sweet. I must be out of the danger zone. Uh... Don't get too close, you'll make me horny! You won't like me when I'm horny! Shit! Oh, I'm gonna cram my rocket so far down your throat! Remember, it's polite to swallow, so don't spit! 